we will we will also upload it to youtube and give you the link okay if okay. is it possible harsh srikanth here yes sir uh, i am recording okay it's recording okay, okay, has okay, been started okay, and okay, okay, it will be uploaded in the stats to uh, okay. youtube okay. whichever channel we have okay okay so it will directly stream in that i will just put the link here in the chat so so that they can also watch okay continue continue okay. thank you sir thank you now yeah now now we have again the table question now i have tell you the previous question it is sim bit different but is it a table question so now we can find the value of k can anyone tell me the value of k what is this this is the marginal probability that t2 is 1 this is basically what f of x t2 is equals to 1 x2 is to 1 is it right k is here yes okay so we will so, add all the oh, values yeah yeah Global. we will add we will add these things all the rows value am i right and yes. this will sum when you will sum at this all this will comes up to i think Uh, six plus seven plus five plus five plus two is zero point two five. Zero point two five. Is that right? Then these all are the case. Then we also know that zero point two five plus zero point two five plus zero point two five plus this will sum up to one. So the k will. Okay. Am I right? Yes. now now from here we can also find abc what is a i will again tell you what is a a is f of x1 equals to 1 sir excuse me yeah 0.19 so 0.02 plus 0.05 plus 0.0 excuse me yeah tell point to instead of instead of uh, calculating all these we can directly calculate a b is a plus b plus c is equal to It is the lower end add to one, so one minus zero point two zero zero point one eight gives you zero point. Yeah, yeah, you can also do that. You can also do that. Subtract these two things from the A B C. You can get the option. Ah, I am telling ah, yes. the approach how to find this marginal oh, probability. Okay, that's so why I am saying. That, that's okay, why I am saying. Sorry. Okay, no problem. So what is A? A will become zero point two one. I think. Two one. Yes. Sir. Okay. So A will zero point two one. Again, we will find B. B is also sum up to zero point two one. Zero point two one. And C is also C is sum up to I think zero point two zero two zero. Okay. Now A plus B plus C should be sum up to point six two. Okay. So here we got our this option. This option. Now. we will check this First option one. two and this option two now we have checking the option now, now this is the thing a it is basically the a yes sir i written here yes so this option is also correct and this is what this is old if this is right this is wrong okay so this will how we will approach the table question so this is a marginal distribution right yeah this is the this question will show how to find the marginal probabilities from a table the previous question previous question is showing how to find the joint probabilities and sum up to one now this question will basically tell us the marginal probability from a table how we are saying that uh, here we have to calculate uh, the marginal probability basically this thing what is this fx of t2 okay fx of t2 basically means if you see the lectures it basically means f of x1 belongs to its old range yeah okay yeah. and and x2 x2 becomes uh, x2 becomes 1 hmm that's it guys this is the sum of all the joint probabilities where x1 takes its old range but x2 is constant at one this is showing the marginal probability oh okay, okay. we will cover whole the range of another variable 
and the variable we are finding the marginal probability it's constant this is basically the marginal probability am i right yeah okay good okay yeah so thanks shall we move forward yes sir okay so now uh basically the th thing that i said just before i am telling this question is basically the notation part sometime we are confused in the notations what this is what is this comes okay so basically those who see the lectures properly have no problem in this but basically i am showing here that what is the f of x t1 means it is the sum of the joint probability to uh, uh basically we are finding what f of joint probability now we are checking these from these option what is correct or what is not am i right hello yes, yes sir yes sir yes, yes. yes sir. now now which will check the first question okay now we'll check the first question uh, first option now this is f of x t1 we are checking the joint probability for the first variable t1 okay so i said just before when we are finding the marginal probability of any variable we will go up to the range of the second variable here we goes to the range of same variable so this is not correct am i right yes yes yeah now check this here we are finding the marginal probability of t1 and we will go to the range of t2 that's why that says the marginal probability is it right yes sir yes sir okay. now see, third question third now now you tell me what is the correct in between these two third option third option third is yes sir third option is correct everyone is convinced yes sir yes, yes sir yes sir okay, okay. so Short this is, is the this is basically this question will tell us the how to check the notations for the joint probability and also the marginal probability am i correct yes sir so please explain again okay see here we are finding the what is, can you tell me what is the notation is the, what what kind of notation is this can you tell me marginal marginal uh, please tell please the person who is asking please let him speak can you tell me what is the notation of this what is uh, it no idea sir is it the marginal probability as you see in the lectures have you seen the lectures of the week yeah, yeah. okay see uh, we have two kind of notation where i till i will take some minute so here see first is joint probability you know what is the joint probability yes what is the joint probability tell me uh it is uh, like a probability of between two variables uh basically when the two random variables take a uh, some constant values and then when we then we find the probability on that part basically the notation of that is this if you think uh, zero zero we can say okay fx x of x y is it the joint probability yes now what is the marginal probability can you tell me uh it will be like fy of 1 uh, or uh, fx of 1 if it will be fx of 1 or it will be fy of 1 and you can anything in the range of f of x f o x and y okay so see here what is this this is the marginal probability yes sir okay so we are finding the marginal probability for the first variable t1 uh, question men mentioned in the question is we have two variable t1 and t2 now we are finding the marginal probability for the first variable okay so when we are finding the marginal probability of any variable we will go up to the range of second variable okay 
you know what is t here t of x t of y mm. basically this will this will tell us the range what is the range x and y both will take okay it will be 0 1 2 x x takes value 0 1 2 in this question in the previous question what is the range of t1 can anyone tell me 1 what 2 is, 5 okay what is the range of t1 that will be 1 to 5 and same for t2 no 2, 1, 1 to 2, 4 okay 1 to so 4 this will tell us that this is the t now tell me if we are finding the marginal probability for the t1 we will go up to the range of t2 yeah are you able to understand yes sir okay so that's why we are correcting these two options if you are not getting i am, will tell you when you are finding the marginal probability for the t1 t2 okay so here will the t2 one or we will tell check for the t1 if you if the question says t1 so we will go up to the range of t2 this is the t2 and this is the t1 then we yes, will sum up okay so that is the notation says here is everything everyone fine with it shall we move forward yes sir yes sir yes sir okay so this is bit different question but uh, basically the main main part of this question is the joint probability okay and the also the some kind of marginal include in it both of them included twice and you will check anyone tell me how to approach this question making table first oh so, i think no need of ma making the tables that will be much uh, you can also make the tables if you can approach like that okay so f of x y zero oh sorry one and two okay both have range one and two yes sir one and two okay so what will be f of x one one F of x, one, y, by nine. two by nine, one by nine, what is the probability that uh, f of x, y, two by nine, two by nine. Two by nine. Two by nine. Uh, this is also two by nine, two by nine, so we can also now it will be easier by making the and we can also do it by the just writing it no need of table okay so we will check from the table now find the probability that f of x 1 plus f of x 2 it one. will be 1 by 9 one. Four four okay okay so we will f x 1 by 9 and f what x will two. what will be f, f, f of x now calculating also we can write 3 1 3 by 9 it is 3 by 9, nine. and we will this is six minus one equal to one now i think everyone is comfortable with both joint and marginal yes sir yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. Yeah. shall we move forward from here yes sir yes sir okay now this is will fit complicated when it comes to the three variables okay and now conditional is also included okay so sir, please zoom it okay is it fine okay thank you sir yeah. okay see how we'll approach these kind of questions um, now we have given three values one two and three uh, this will we have to find we have given three values one two and three now we have to find from these we do not have given any probability table we have to just work with the notations and we have to find this kind of thing okay so can anyone tell me how anyone approach this kind of problem make table factors of uh, uh, no you cannot able to make tables here factors 
sir we can use joint by marginal yes factor sir, the factor yeah. Yeah. Yes, so so for joint by marginal. marginal okay from from uh, when this kind of questions come just check what is asked kya humse pucha gaya okay what is asked to us see what will be asked x1 given x2 equals to 0 comma x3 is equals to 1 0 okay now tell me what will it will be equal to now we will know the formula conditional is equals to joint upon marginal joint yes sir okay we know that we will build this question step wise okay now check what is the what is the joint joint will become f of x1 f x1 x2 x3 x3 and 001 001 001 okay this will already given us okay here Yes, now what we have to find F what F is the marginal marginal of F the conditioned okay F, F of x2 x3 okay x3 0 now we do not know this kind of thing this is this is different for us now we'll break down this how we will find this okay now this is the joint and when we'll come to the joint we know what is the joint joint is basically the conditional into marginal conditional into marginal okay am i right so yes. Yes, sir. let us break this what is this uh, i will turn the page okay see we have x of x2 x3 Zero comma one. Zero comma one. Okay. What will be this? Now we have two ways to differentiate. We have two ways to. The we have. Either two x two, either x two. Either x two condition or either x three condition. What we will take? What we will have? Basically, we will check what we will have. We have conditional probability of x three. So we will break like this. Am I right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. So see, we will break like this. So this will how we will approach this kind of question. Now we will break like this. F of x two given x three equals to one is zero. Now we will know f of x three is one. One. Now we will stuck at this. We will do not have this. We have this. Zero. Zero. So no no need of any uh, confusion here. We know what is f of x three is two by five. We know what is the range zero and one only for x three. One minus one two minus two by five. Uh, so what will be the f of x three given zero one is one minus two by five. It's two by five. Two by five. Okay. Yes. That will come up to three by five. Three by five. So we will just have to put the values here. Now, what will be the value for this? This is two by three multiplied by three by five. This will come up to two by five. Am I right? Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Now see, we have value for this. We have value for this. Now we have to just put the values. That is uh, one by five divided. One by five. Okay. Divided by two by five. Two by five. That will come up to half. what is half. Half. So answer will be one, one by two. Is it fine now? From taking the two variables, joint, then marginal, then now we have come up to the three variables, and we have find a complex solution. Now I think everyone is familiar with the joint, marginal, and the conditional part. Am I right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, will you please explain one more time the breaking of the okay the two See. variables? See, I will break both of them. Okay. Now, this is the joint probability. Am I right? Yes, sir. Okay. Now you know what is the joint. Joint is basically from the formula is conditional 
into marginal. marginal. Yes. Okay. Now we have two type of condition. I am writing first, then we will see how we can break this. We can also break like this: x three given x two is equals to zero, one into f of x two equals to zero, or we can break like this: f of x two x three equals to one zero multiplied it by f of x three equals to one. Which will be which one will be helpful for us? Tell me. We know the value for this. We don't know the value for this, but we can find the value for this. But we do not know the value for both. Second one. This. So we know second one is familiar and uh, beneficial for us. That's why we will break like this. Am I right? Ah, uh, yes, sir. Okay. Okay. So okay, that's why we'll. Now we will now we'll move forward. Till now, anyone have any doubt related to joint marginal and conditional part? No, sir. No, sir. It's clear. Okay. So, see. now we will check this question. This question has three parts. Okay. So first part is this. Check it. Is it easier to all? Now we know what is t. Now we know what is joint probability. Now we know what is marginal probability. And now we know what is the conditional probability. Okay. Now every notation in this question is familiar to us. Yes, sir. Yeah. So just yes. easier for us. What is the range of? What is the range? What is the t? What is the t? Is just the range? What is the range of x one? What is the range of x two? And what is the range of x three? Tell me. Second option, sir. Second one zero. X one zero. X two zero one. X two zero one two. X three zero one. Is that right? Yes. Yes, sir. Now see, uh, this is I think something misprint. Here is also range of something. Range of, okay. Range of this, okay. Now tell me what is. What is correct in both of this? This Third is the joint probability type of thing. Everyone was convinced with him. Third option is correct. Or anyone have any doubt in this? Yes, sir. Okay. Thank Now you. I will tell you how why third option is correct. He is correctly correctly. He is definitely right. Uh, see what is this says. This is the. Range when x one is conditioned on x two. Okay, now we know x two will become one always. Now we have to check the probability for x one. What is we have to check the prob? What we have to check the range of x one. Am I right? Yeah. Now yes. see where the x two is one. Here zero and zero. here. Now check the range for x one. Zero. That's why it will zero. Now in this question, he say it says x one is zero. Is also so x one is all zero. It's not x3 correct. X three is x three is one. Okay. In this question, now we have left with this table. It is now correct. what is x two? X two is two and one. It's both. not correct. Two and it one. It is not correct. Not correct. Now you all familiar with how to find the range from the table? Yes, sir. For yes, both yes. joint, for both marginal, for both condition, everything from the table. Yes, now sir. you now yes, you will sir. see now you will see the probability table something different. You will see like that. This is the joint. This is the marginal. This is the conditional. This is the range. Okay. So main approach for this kind of problem is main thing that I want to convey is tell these things how to see a probability table. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, now we will move forward to our next question that is related to that one. Okay, now we have to find the probability that x one given x two and x three is one, x two is zero and x three is one and x one is zero. How to find this? Just see the probability table. Nothing to do. See the probability table. I will write here probability of x one given x two is what zero, I think. 
x2 is 0 and x3 is 1. So see the table and tell me the answer. Zero. Zero. No, no. Can you erase that from table? Okay, wait. Uh, now okay. tell me what is the answer for this? Zero. Zero. Everyone, zero. everyone? Yes, sir. Have the answer zero? Yes, zero. Basically, we have to check first, we have to just check the condition and make the constraint. Basically, these kind of mm -hmm. things, this will think this both will take the constraint the table. X2 is 0. So we will just left with here. Now X3 is never 1 when X2 is 0. So answer is 0. Am I right? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, check this question. Now we have to find the probability that x3 is 1, the constraint is only 1, and we have to find the joint probability for this. x1 is 0 and x2 is 1. Tell me the answer. 1 by 4. 1, one, one by 4. Yeah, 4. And one by everyone four. is? Uh, one, one, by, by four. 1 by 4. 1 by 4. Check again. I will see. Mm -hmm. One by sixteen. I will write. I will write here. I will write the question. X one by two is zero. X two is one. Ten by two. Uh, given X three is one. Now we have to check the probability for this. Uh, basically, we can also write here X one. So the probability is one. 0, 1. Check. So the so make, is one. Just just it, make the constraint. Just make the constraint. X3 is 1. It's 1 two. by 2. Okay. 1 by 2. Everyone is convinced with 1 by 2 answer? Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. I couldn't get that. No, sir. But then. No, it's, sir. It's, it's huh. 1 by 4, I guess. 1 by 4 only. Yeah. There is only uh, 1. 1 by 4, sir. There is only one. Where all three conditions three. are matching. Or see. Even in let's, let's break. Let's break. Okay. Let's break. Let's break. F of X1. We have to find this. What is the conditional is basically the joint? F of X1, X2 is equal to 0, 1. 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. 0, 1, 1. Divided by f of x3. x3, 1. Okay. Uh, I'm writing like this. So we can write like this. Okay. So tell me the joint probability when it is 0, 0, 1, 1. 1 by 4. 1 by 4. When when x one is zero, x one is zero, x two three, x two three is one. X two three is one one here, okay, and one it is one. just zero here. So last one by four. One by four. So that's why I'm telling you old guys are doing that. You just forget the marginal part here. Yes, okay. yeah, sir. Okay. Yes. yes sir. That's the basic. That's a basic problem faced by the student. They just mark the question blindly. This is just one by four. We forget the marginal part. There is an always, I will suggest, always write joint when will when they will ask for the conditional. Just always write the joint by marginal and always check the marginal because I also did the same mistakes when I did the quiz one. Okay. Okay. So, now what what will be the probability that x x3 is 1 it's 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 1 by 2 1 by 2 okay and the answer will come up 1, one, by, one, by, two. one by 2 is it right yes sir yes sir, yes, yes, sir. sir. okay but sir, in previous question we did not do like that yes. 
uh big this you can do you can do you can do also you can write the x2 uh x3 is x3. 0 comma 1 but zero that is, one. doesn't mean now nah, if if something is zero in numerator that doesn't matter what is in denominator denominator or not okay. actually i i joined uh, just oh, now. Why uh, will it will it be uh, streamed in youtube uh, yeah available in youtube okay my question is how you arrived at the marginal 1 by 2 uh, because i didn't follow the previous one but uh, which question you are asking for this question no 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 here here in this marginal you calculated as 1 by 2 right uh, yeah x3 is 1 x3 is one. X... f of x3 is 1 f of x3 is 1 so 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 ah yes this thing okay you can also make like this. You can also make like this, the tables. Okay. But this is not like the probability, actual probability table. So we cannot make like that. But we can add up the probabilities where the X3 is 1. So that's why we are adding both of this. Okay. Okay. In the, if, for example, if, uh, if I want to calculate uh, in this table, if I want to calculate the marginal for T2, then yeah. it will be 1 by 4. Plus two times one by four plus one by four is it? Uh, see, wait, wait, wait. What you are saying? What you are finding? Marginal for Ma x two. Marginal for uh, x two. X. What you are taking? What you are taking in the brackets? What you are finding the marginal probability for? It is for um, zero, one, or two. Okay. If it is one, means one by. If it is two, uh, okay. if it is one, mm -hmm. then we will add these both the probability for this one by four plus one by four. If it is zero, that is just okay. one, by four. one by four. If it is two mm -hmm. here, it then we will just one by four. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Clear. Okay. okay. Am I Go clear ahead. in all the marginal joint and the conditional part? That's that in is basically. Point. Yeah. In this table for T1, it, there is only the range is only zero, is it? Yeah, the T1 has the range only zero. That's zero. the answer. Okay. That's the answer phase. Okay. 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 So, am I clear to all? Yes. Okay. So now you are able to check all the things joint marginal and the conditional and do not forget i say you again make the note of this when you are finding the conditional probability never forget the marginal mm -hmm. because the human nature in just we are for just we are checking and basically the examiner set the options like this you always find the option for that just the joint probability always find the option and you just mark Okay, so do not forget the marginal. That is the basic problem faced by the student. Am I right? Yes, sir. Okay, till now I am clear to all the topics that I have said to you that I have. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So, so the problem ends here for the week one. Week one is basically just tell you how to check the joint, marginal, and the conditional part. Excuse me, sir. Yeah. Sir, I have a doubt in uh, week one graded question number five. So, can you post it at the, in the discourse or you can tell me the question? Sir, uh, it is a question about... Akshat draws a card randomly from a well shuffled deck of 52 playing cards and we have to select uh, if x equal to 0 so, and it means a face card. You are the question, sir. Okay. Can Avinash, can you check the question, please? Okay. Okay. I I know that question. Uh, we will discuss that at the after the after this session. Okay. At the end of the session, if you want to stay, can you stay? Because... Excuse me, sir. Yeah. So this fifth question uh, in this calculate probability of x1 is equals to 0 and x21 given x3 equals to 1 like yeah if we have a joint pmf of three variables 
yes how will we approach this cause uh, we can approach fx but in probability there is some confusion can you please tell me how to do this you are asking the break up of this so you what how will you break no, this no 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 uh, is there any joint pmf of this given yeah uh, basically we have the table now we have the table yeah. this is the table so, this so is the this table. table there is uh, fx which we can take easily but uh, how to calculate the probability the question no, is this is the probability this is the joint probability given here we have to check we have to find the marginal we have to find the conditional from this thing only okay so there was given that uh, given x3 equals to 1 so there are two so 2 by 4 will be in denominator uh, and 1 by 4 in numerator see you are asking for this question we just yeah, discussed yeah. this question this question. Ha, this question is not just simple like that ki you just take the x1 0 x2 1 and x3 1 you have to break this i am just saying you have to break this in joint divided by marginal part marginal thing otherwise you will end up like a, with a wrong solution most probably okay so just just make the joint and divided by marginal you will always find the right answer it just take a minute but you will it will surety give you the right answer just break this what will the joint probability here i just say it and what is the marginal fx of 1 3 yeah yeah now you have to just check the table and find the values for these both of this okay okay so sir yeah uh, in the video uh, uh, sir has mentioned that uh, more than two variables we can still uh, create tables but all the examples given in the videos are only uh, binary zero or one so if the range is more than 2 how do we make a table yeah this is the table for the three variable it will tell the average story for the joint for the these three variable you will find everything from this table can you can you can you find everything uh, from this table? no because t2 and f of fx t2 and t3 we can't find it from here right Why? Just uh, okay. Uh, F X T two one and T three zero. You can find, huh? Uh, can you say again? Uh, what was your question? Because okay, now uh, the 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 reason why we are uh, tabling is that okay, in one direction we have one random variable on the horizontal axis and the vertical axis we will have the other random variable. So we will get a matrix for okay. any a, okay. any uh, uh, combination. We can get the uh, see, probability. See, see, the basic problem is when it comes to the two two variables, we can make a matrix like form. Okay, like like uh, like this. Okay. Yes. Yes. But when it comes to the three variable, we do not create. We cannot able to create a three D three D three D matrix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why that's why we are showing like this. but still this table tells the every story about the joint marginal and the conditional am i right uh no i just okay now <clears throat> we have three uh, random variables okay. here so you we can, have only you, okay if you think it is not saying everything about the probability you can ask me everything you can ask me any joint probability any marginal or any conditional i will tell you from this table only Okay, just uh, T two. Uh, sorry, wait, X2. wait. I will write. I will write. Uh, David. Okay. Okay. See. Yeah, so I understand. We can calculate and find out, but it's not readily available, right? Everything we need to calculate. Yeah, for the three variable, we have to check. Okay. But okay. in the uh, uh, as the human mind, we can okay. only see the two D things in mm -hmm. general. when it comes to 3d we cannot find every information that's why the matrix says everything about the probability but when it comes to three variable it not says directly but it have everything in it okay uh, okay sir uh, 
may i also ask something regarding these yeah. variables yeah. Uh, so if we can uh, sum the uh, sum, uh, take sum of p1 this column p1 is equal to 0 and okay we cannot find the individual probabilities uh individual probability for what uh, what is the individual probability individual uh, probability like is basically marginal, the marginal, marginal probability, probability. Sorry. Uh, yes, yes, marginal probability so you are asking they go basically the range of what is the range of x1 it's just zero so what is the we can find only the marginal for zero yes please mute. Uh, yes sir okay so see when it comes to t2 we can find 0 1 2 but we can find everything we can find the marginal for 0 we can find marginal for 1 we can find marginal for 2 when it comes to t3 but you cannot find that is not already mentioned if you are asking like f of t1 like 1 it doesn't it doesn't in the table already uh, so yes. zero. okay it is already zero because t1 never takes the value one so it takes yeah, just the value zero, zero is one so yeah, how, about, zero uh, one. how about zero one two zero one uh T3 cannot take 2, right? So it should yeah, be Yeah, no, no. I said for the X2, but for the X3, it's just 0 and 1. Then, sir, what is the value of FT10? Is it 1? F? Yes, yes. T10, yeah. FT10. It is 1. Okay. So we have to sum this all. 1 by 4. It is 1. Okay. So, sir, whether uh, any number of variables, we can find the marginal prob probability of each uh, item in the range of that individual variable in this manner. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Actually, if, if, actually if, if the correct question. probability table is given to you, you can find everything. Just if, if there point. is any constant mentioned, you have to first find the constant by sum up to all, one. Then you will find everything from conditional, marginal, and the joint. Yeah. Yeah, actually, in uh, general, uh, uh, two variables, we write the uh, uh, horizontal and vertical, we write the ranges. Right? Yeah, yeah. Now, in this three, uh, three, in this three variable uh, table, how we will come to know that uh, uh, this is the range? Uh, see, generally, we write it uh, horizontal and uh, vertical. Now, everything is... Uh, uh, because this table is a little new, right? Okay, yeah. Just, yeah. just, just the thing I. Uh, if I, if you have covered it previously, that's fine. But uh, see, the just I said before, when it comes to the two variable, we can make table yes. like this. Okay. Yes, yes. But yes. when it comes to the table like this, we have to make a three D table for that. We cannot yeah. able to see. Mm. Okay. Okay. That's why so, we are writing like this. More than three variables, you are making it in this form. No, more than two variables, we have to make a three. Ah, sorry, table. more than two variables, more than two variables, you will be so using this. That's form. why. That's why we are writing like this. But still, we can find everything from this. Just the notation uh -huh. or representation is different, but the information is still in it. In the practice assignment, also this type of table is not there. Uh, if you could have added some two or three problems in this format, no, it would have been easier. Okay. She okay. Anyway, uh, now we got now we got it. Okay. This is another uh, uh, more than two variables. This is the format uh, of representation of the table. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. The, the main approach for this, this session is only to tell you how to approach and how to see when it comes to basically okay. when it comes to week one. The when we comes from the stats one to stats two. The major difference is for the notation. We just see the mm -hmm. notations. What is this? Mm -hmm. If you don't follow the lecture English. probably, if you follow the lecture mm -hmm. probably, it is not making any much problem. Here you won't ask like a K a missing missing things like two variable questions. No, uh, in the two yeah, variables. Yeah, we we, we 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 did that. We did that. You have to see the that is in uh, two variables. Yes, two variables. You have done this uh, like this uh, in three in variables. Theory, you won't ask no. Uh, I think there is no difficult, right? Of like that, no, we cannot, mm. we cannot discuss. It. Okay, okay. So this is the constant format for uh, more than two variables. Okay. Okay. Shall we move to the week two now? Yes, sir.
Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, Avinash will take over mm -hmm. from this. Okay. Uh, Harsh, sir. Yeah, yeah. There was a question where we were getting uh, A, B. So multiple, yeah. like A into B as unknown. In yeah, that okay. case. Can you post the question in the discourse? I will just check it right now. Okay. Um, and share the is solution. It, is it okay if I share it in the uh, mess, uh, chat box? Okay. You can also sh share in the chat box. Avinas will take over from Because this. I don't I have access it. for uh, forum. Discourse forum. Don't? Why? Oh, some people are not got access. Even uh, for me, announcement, it is not, tab is not working. I have raised this, but uh, not uh, resolved. Mm -hmm. So some people are having different, different Okay, issues. you can write it to the support. I support. Think. Yeah, yeah, following it up, but no. I, I have written four or five emails, but <laughs> still not work. Srikanth, sir, can you check it? Uh, sure, sure. Uh, we will check on this. Uh, okay. today... Before we go into week two, uh, just uh, that uh, uh, binomial geometric uh, poison that uh, can you a little bit explain in that uh, in the last, uh, it is there actually, uh, in the, in the previous uh, term one it is there, but if you can just uh, touch on that, it will be helpful. Uh, by just uh, reading the question, we should know which uh, it is binomial or geometric or uh, poison like that uh, maybe this okay. thing we can do it tomorrow okay 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 so tomorrow there is a session so this session okay. is wholly uh, to show you how you should solve any so, given problem okay no no problem okay okay, okay. we will proceed okay uh -huh. okay we can also share any form something that you feel difficult in we can run into we will discuss both of us avinash and okay now uh, avinash will uh, yeah, yeah, just last question. First. How to approach a problem statement type of questions? Yeah, we can do it in the next session. Okay, sir. Okay, yeah. okay. sir. See, yeah, uh, could you repeat uh, how to find range, sir? Because there was lag, sir. I didn't so, get the point. Can you check the session's recording after this? Because it, uh, there is a time constraint, it is one hour for me for the week one we have the six minute left so let me check wait okay thank you. so the range this is the range okay so yes sir what do you feel difficult in this range part uh if uh, there is given uh, condi in conditional uh, questions problem uh, it is given x is equal to one then find out the what is now range means new range what is new range okay of new range kind of thing okay i will make a question for you here okay i said you what will be the range of x1 or oh, not not for x1 what will be the range for x2 if x3 is conditioned like one tell yes. me before the range of x2 is what is the range before the condition is 0, 1, 2? Yes, sir, 0, 1, 2. Now, tell, tell me from the table if x3 is conditioned at 1. Uh, 1, 2. Now, the ranges will become? 1, 2. So, this will you will, this is how you will check the range from the table. Okay? Yes, sir. Okay. One, two, if, a, if, right, anyone, sir. if anyone have any doubt from the week win, still left you can post it in the discourse i will check i will check it and give you the solutions uh yes say nk is it right sir one two yeah is it right okay sir thank you okay so uh sir now, i have posted the doubt in message we can take it after the entire session okay no problem okay so now avinash will take over from here now the next voice is who avinash okay meanwhile avinash uh, uh, comes in uh, those who haven't got announcements 
can you just uh, give your mail id is uh, maybe in the discourse maybe someone start a discourse for saying i am not getting announcement and below that uh, please raise your uh, maybe just comment your roll number so that we can add your roll number separately uh, i got so a message from what what Okay, sir. Okay. See, I got a message from support team saying that uh, those who have enrolled for stats two, uh, all of them we added to the Google groups. So announcement will be sent to everyone. So maybe few of you might miss. So I need uh, we can individually add your roll numbers. So what you have to do is uh, maybe Krishna, you can just give your roll number and say. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Your roll number is what? Yeah, yeah. I'm just uh, starting that. Uh... Sure. And other people can just comment your roll numbers in that. Okay. So that we will and, add uh, your roll numbers. Yeah. And excuse me, sir. And I do not have access to discourse forum. Oh, you do not have access to discourse forum, is it? Okay. Can you give me your mail ID uh, in the sure. chat itself? Yes. Sure. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So even Shakti Nath Kumar is also unable to log into Discord. So yes, those sir. who are unable to log into Discord, just give me your uh, roll numbers in chat. I will make a note of this and we will add it. Okay, Avinash, uh, you can continue. Okay, thank you, sir. So hello, uh, let's start with week two. And same, the approach will be same. We are discussing how to solve the question. So this is the first question. Let X and Y be two discrete random variables with joint PMF. And now we need to identify the correct statement. Am I audible properly? Yes, yes sir. sir. OK. Yes, sir. So the first question, the first option, uh, joint equal to uh, marginal. And like th this joint, fx1, x2, 1, comma 2 equal to fx1 into fx2 is it correct or not how you're going to how you are going to check so first of all you know the left part left part is given in the table right but you don't know about the right part i mean what is uh, what is written in the right part you need to calculate right so how you're going to calculate uh, can you check sir, can, can you, you repeat sir? can you repeat the question please okay so question is the we are checking the first option and the uh, right the left part is the left part we know right this is the joint fx1 x2 1 comma yes. 2 this part we one can directly eight. get from the table right right one by four but we don't yeah, yeah. but we don't know the uh, right part the right one left uh, right hand side so right hand side is fx1 to uh -huh. 1 multiplied by fx mm -hmm. fx2 into marginal two. we have to get yeah so to get this first we knew first we need to know marginal right mm -hmm. and how we get how we know like how to calculate marginal we know so and when we so to calculate marginal we need to just add the like rows and the columns right when we add rows what we will get in this table t2 ka marginal marginal yeah okay so let me write uh wait uh give me one minute um i mean i'm unable to write so just give me one second so i'll i'll write Please zoom. Just, just one second, just one minute. Uh, let me. I I'm also not accessible. I'm only. I have I have given myself the permission of view only because I'm logging into next uh, another laptop. So just one minute. Okay. So can you tell uh, till now how to calculate how to calculate marginal? This is from week one. The first option is uh, the first option belongs from, belongs to week one. So how you calculate these marginals? Fx one of one. How you calculate fx one of n? Or even fx one of one, fx one of two, fx. Uh, By FX2. adding all the columns. We add all By the uh, column of one. Row wise and column. Yes, Aditya. Yeah. So when you add, so first of all, and there is one uh, unknown here, right? Which is k. And Which we need equal to, to zero. We need to know k. We need to know k. The value of k also. Will sum uh, all 
which will Come be equal to 1 ball is equal to 1 okay okay, okay so let yeah k equal to wait. 0 okay so k equal to 0 you you find this value k equal to 0 yes sir and then you can add fx1 of 1 so let's uh, find the value of fx of fx1 of 1 and then fx2 of 2 yes yeah find the value and then let me know 1 by 2 and so, 1 by 2 it is okay so what we are going to do here this is like marginal for we can make like this for marginal so what will be this one here what should write we should should we write x x1 or x2 or x2 what we should x2. write x2 sir x2 yeah so we are going to add these values right these values yes sir so what is this what will be the one value? by two one by two Either. i'm writing I'm, I'm i'm trusting you guys okay <laughs> no uh, uh, no sir no this is one by four plus two by sixteen that is one by eight plus one by four right am i right so this is eight, Three by one, eight. One it will plus, be three by eight. Yeah, three, three by, by eight, eight, sir. Uh, should I not trust you guys? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. So three by eight, and the next one, what will be here? Okay, I will. I will calculate. This is one by two, right? One by two. One by two. One by two. Yeah. So what is this? Uh, K one by eight. Plus one by eight. K plus one by eight, right? K plus one by eight. And now here, uh, there is also property from week one. When we add these, these uh, values. What should we get? This should be one. 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 Yeah, one. this should be one. So three by eight plus one by eight plus k plus one by eight. And you'll all, this is just to make the question tricky. This value of k, you'll you most probably probably you will get this type of question in exam where you will have to calculate this value before uh, moving forward to answer the real problem. You will find these kind of some unknowns. So first of all, you have to like put some extra effort to calculate these values. So what will be the value of k? Zero. 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 Okay, zero. So so now this is zero. So what will be the value of this first option? Okay, so can you check whether first option is correct or not? It's correct, sir. Okay, it's correct. So which means um the joint equals to marginals, right? In this yes, case, sir. in this particular case, joint equal to marginal. So we have seen like we have uh, a theorem which says that if joint equal to marginal, it only happens when x and y are independent, right? Independent. So is it so now we find that fx1 x2 1 comma 2 equal to fx1 of 1 and fx2 of 2 so can we say that okay x1 and x2 are independent no sir uh, why sir Zero. because uh, in the um, second option sir it's uh, matlab in the second option uh, the second option is not correct which makes it which make it not independent yeah yeah okay so th the main thing is this has to do so like fx1 x2 this is a mistake that i have made i think in the exam i have just checked one and and i corrected like i choose this option so one comma two and this is sorry not i'm not saying that one comma two and this let's take it variable there x, small x1 comma small x2 so this has to be true for every x1 x2 pair right Yes, then sir. only we can say so we can say that for every x1 comma x2 then only we can say that uh, x1 x2 are independent right so yes, this is even though this is true i mean so what it says that for some value of x1 comma x2 it might be the case that joint equal to marginal but only for some value right it might be the case but if it is not for all x1 comma x2 then we then x1 and x2 are not independent if this truth joint equal to marginals if this condition is true for all x1 comma x2 then we can say that x1 and x2 are independent right so if this is not so you're saying that this is not following right this is correct uh, this is not correct yes sir yes sir so if this is not correct then x1 and x2 will not be independent yes. right so they will be dependent so it is clear this is simple this is i think from most mostly from week one the only thing uh, in this question which is in week two is just uh, joint equal to margin joint equal to marginal if x1 and x2 are independent okay so let's go to the question number uh, so next huh uh, in the video the professor said that uh, if any value is zero then automatically you know we can say that they are uh, not independent ah uh, so yeah 
Yeah, yeah. So you yeah. can also say that. Yes. Yeah. So f x one, x two, one comma two, and this is going to be this one. So even not one comma two. Yeah, you are also correct. So we can say that. Um, so one comma three is one comma three. Yeah, yeah. So in this, okay, okay. In this question, in the second option, I think this that is the case. You get the zero. Yes, sir. Yeah, you can just yes. by looking the table, you can see that uh, if it is zero is there, then one comma three. It's not equal. One comma three. Yeah. So it will. They are not uh, independent. If the if zero is there. So, but these things are really very like in the long run, you might forget these things, right? Whether if zero is there or what what will happen if zero is there. So that is why this approach is just just to like if you know the approach, then it will be fine. Even though you don't know the tricky part of that uh, of yes, that yes. Uh, topic. Yes. Okay. So let's to come to the next question. Yeah, this is the trickier question. In my case, I had like. I had taken two to three hours to solve this question. I don't know even I I even don't know whether I would have been uh, I would have uh, solved this question or not. So in this question, the very the confusing part is this f x, uh, and this f x is not the probability. This is the general function. We are we get confused with this like because we have this thing na this thing, right? Then we get confused in this. So this is. This is just a uh, random function, just normal function, which is given to us in the question. F x whether uh, and it takes two kind of values based on the uh, x, based on the value of small x. This when x is even, it takes x by two. When x is odd, it takes x plus one by two. So find the probability of f x of k. How to approach this kind of question? You will find many questions like this. How to approach this kind of questions? So first of all, just to write what is given in in the question, or and what is asking in the question. So find the probability of this, which means we need to find what will be the value of this, f x of k, right? And this is the capital X which is inside the function. This uh, this is the capital X which is inside the function. What is capital X? It is geometric p, right? So now the question is saying that we need to find this value, probability that. f x equal to k, right? We need to find this value. Now uh, let's come back to the next part, uh, page number five. Okay, so we need to find this probability of f x equal to k. So what are the cases that we need to consider, or what is the next step that we need to think in this question? What should we think next? Now we know that we need to, we need to yeah. find this. Okay. K uh, for two k and two k plus one k will be the answer, right? Uh yeah you I think you have uh, jumped two three steps. So you can bring the k into the given conditions like x bar yeah. uh, so, if it is even or odd. Okay. Yeah, 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 add okay. the two conditions right probability of x being even plus probability of x odd for odd. Right right yeah th those things are okay so what I am saying is. We need we need to know because x is that something that we know. So we are we are going to find the probability. This is the probability that is being asked, right? And we know about the geometric like x. We know about the x. X is geometric p, right? So anything like if any probability is about this geometric random variable that is being asked, we can answer. Let's say if someone yes. asks that x equal to something. X is equal to k. Yeah, or k. Yes. We can One ask. We can answer three. that, right? Yeah, yeah, we can answer that. So this is let's say small k. We can answer that. So from this, but we need to find this probability, right? We need to find this probability. So from this f x. So if instead of this f x, if we can find something, even some function of this x, or even straight x, then we can answer this question, right? So we need to go from f x to x. This is this is what we want to know. This is what we want to do, right? This should be the approach, and if you will, uh, if you like follow this approach, there will be a lot of questions based on this approach. Otherwise, you will just randomly like start thinking what to do, what not to do. There are a lot of things. Then they, the things will start mixing up. So what we, so what is the approach? Somehow, whatever whatever is asking in the question and whatever is given, if we can go from something to something which is given, then we can answer the question. So if we can somehow go from f x to x, we can answer the question, right? So that is now what we are going to do. 
and it is given now it is very easy because it is given that fx equal to what is the what is what will be the value of fx if x is even x by 2 right yes and if it is odd then it will be x, x plus, plus 1, 1 by 2. 2 so first of all we need to know that uh, how many values so okay so what is the range of x with the, where x is geometric 1 2 sir so 1 to n 1 to 1 to infinity. 1 to infinity. Yeah, 1 to infinity. Okay, so here now, and this fx can take any value, right? This fx can take any value. 1, 2, 3. Sorry, x, not fx. x can take any value. fx will take value based on the value of x, right? So if x take value 1, it will take value this. 1. Yeah. This one. So right. it will again follow one, two, three. Yeah. yeah. So we can make two cases in this. What uh, What will be the first case when x is yeah. odd? Let's say odd, right? When x is odd. So when x is odd, what will be my fx? My fx will be x, x plus, plus one by, by two. two, right? Hmm. So in this case, when x is fx is x plus one by two, so instead of fx, we can like uh, put this x plus 1 by 2 equal to k. Now yeah. we get some kind of function of our random variable which is given to us in the question. Mm -hmm. The random variable which is given to us in the question is x is geometric p and we get some kind of function. So from fx we have like reached to this point. Now you can see how to find the probability in this. Okay, so in this uh, box it is little bit unclear. If you know, if you have solved then it will be very easy. Okay, yeah, you need to do this. But if you haven't solved this yet, then you see that very it is very hard to imagine how we will going to find the probability of this because there is nothing being given about fx right but now we have converted this fx from uh, we have now reached from fx to x plus 1 by 2 now it is very easy so what we can do because we know that we can do can you mute uh, please if you are not talking to me please mute yourself okay so yeah, we. Uh, I, I was saying that if we can go somehow from from something to this part, if we can come to this part, we can answer the question. So now we have come to this part, right? This x will become two k minus one. Mm. Now this is just a constant value, any like any constant value it can be. And now we can answer this. What will be this value? One P minus p. Yeah, one minus p. Minus two two k minus one minus one. 2k okay, minus 1 minus 1, so 2k okay, minus 2, right? Minus 2. So this is for case 1. For case 1 means when k, like when fx is going to be, when oh. x is going to be 1, 3, 5, right? Mm. And then what will be for, okay, so there is no page remaining. Okay, let me clear this page and I will write case 1 only now. So case 1, we have found that uh, when x is, odd and what probability we have found x equal to 2k minus 1 which is p 1 minus p power 2k minus 2 now what is the case 2 because x can be either odd or even right or even. Mm -hmm. yeah so at only one thing can happen so either or the, the case will be either or so when x is even when x is even so what will be this value fx equal to k what will be this fx value x by 2 x by 2 yeah so we can say that x equal to 2k 2k so now this will become p 1 minus 1 minus p 2k minus 1 and why we are adding this why do not why not to multiply because we don't know uh, what value x takes uh, no, even. Uh, either uh, this or this two conditions. Yeah. yeah, because x can't take both odd and even, right? Mm -hmm. So there is nothing like we have to multiply. So either it will take odd value or it will take even value. So we are going to add. So now it is like just a simple calculation. Do you guys want me to do that or should I trust you? Should I solve this uh, further? Uh we can take out uh, the p into 1 minus p yeah, p into 1 minus p power 2k minus 1 
yeah so, the, and very interesting thing is to like after this kind of when you get this kind of expression try to like uh, see the options okay my then it will become easier which kind of options are there so like based right. on those options try to like frame the uh, expression yeah so what will happen here 1 1 plus 1 minus plus 1 minus two. yeah so that is i think the uh, option okay so Excuse now this could, yeah uh, this question also had a part where they were asking the uh, values which uh, x can take or i think similar to that let me check so in so that this formula uh, they will give uh, geometric sorry, yeah, uh, formula acha acha yeah so can you can you tell the formula that function the function of this x x and x square minus 1 and x minus 1 i think something like that x square minus 2 i'm not sure something like that let's say this is y can somebody tell this exact uh, this is i think the previous question of this so the range is uh, will start from 0 or 1 because in i this, marked from 0 and i got in this geometric case ha 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 in geometric case range starts from 1 one. One. okay yeah because okay. geometric is what uh, what is the geometric random variable it is like uh, the number of trials we need to get we need to do number of trials before first success right success mm. yeah but mm. so if the trials are zero then there is no success like we we will start getting success after first like first. we have to do first trial to get success right at least first trial is there okay so because x is geometric we will start from got yeah. thank yeah. you uh, should i explain this kind of uh, this expression i mean there is a question i don't know what is the exact expression for the question which is given in the question but i think this is the expression is something like that similar to this should i should i explain i think there is in this question they have asked about the range right the range of y x x Oh, capital no, no. x okay the range of x capital x. x okay so the, the range of x this hmm hmm so x if x is geometric na so the range will be from uh, 1 to infinity yeah got yeah. it hmm. okay so come to the question number 3 a random experiment consists of rolling an unbiased die two times so i'm rolling a die two times and the denotes the outcome for the outcome after the first uh, roll first rolling of the die so that is x1 so we can that we can say that this is first outcome and always make sure to write everything which is given in the question don't just try to like answer the uh, right start solving the problem without writing the things that are given in the question so x is first outcome and y is second outcome what are the possible outcome that uh, here like what is the range of x and y 1 to 6 1 to 6 very important to write these things these, these are the small things but they will make uh, a problem you will start looking the problem in a better way if you write these things in front of you so always write this range range is very important always write whenever you get to know about the any like random variable always try to write the range first so this is the range 1 to 6 right and there is a z so fun uh, function of random variable x and y x plus y sum of two random variable and now we need to find this probability that z equal to 3 right so again same approach that i have told you what to do about z we don't know z is x plus y we have nothing given about x plus y but we have been given about x and y right there is some information about x and y that x is the first outcome y is the second outcome and x and y so these are the so the probability what will be the probability that if i ask only this question probability that x equal to 2 what will be this probability 1 by 6 x, x is the first outcome what will be the probability x equal to 2 uh, for one the first question 1 by 6 yeah 1 by 6 same same for everything right probability mm. that y equal what will be the probability that y equal to 2 1 by, by 6 1 by 6 yeah mm. so that is that, that means we know everything about x and y right mm. but that we don't know so what we are going to do we are we somehow 
go from z to x if we can go there we will uh, will answer will be able to answer the question but in this question if you notice that this is a little bit like a weird kind of question because they have not given directly the joint pmf they have only given that joint pmf exist i mean joint P there is a joint pmf you don't know you don't need to put the value of from the joint pmf you just use the expression they have only given the expression instead of values and tables so we are going to use that uh, this expression so yeah so next step after that is writing from going from z to x and y somehow so z equal to what x plus y x plus y equal to 3 right this is something that we need to know so now from here we can write x equal if we write x okay, is equal here, to yeah, y minus 3 Exactly. Yeah, y equal to three minus x. X. Right? Yes. Sir. So this is yes, important, sir. and you can write like this also. There is okay. There there will be a sum summation of this because we are taking this variable, right? So we have to like vary this small x. If we don't include this summation part here, it will say that there is a constant x which is sitting here. But this is a uh, like variable that we are taking. So we need to vary this x. So and this is very tricky part. How to go? Like, what will be the range of this x? One so can two. anyone? One to two. One and why? one two. Yeah, one okay. two. Okay. Why? Why is it so? Why we are going one to two? Uh, we can go one to no, maximum is three now. Yeah. Summation will be three. Um, um, the die will not show the zero, right? So y equal to three yeah. minus x will not show. So zero. always, yeah. Keep focusing. I mean, I mean, in this question, it is very clear, but in later part, mm -hmm. even like. you might get some kind you might get some questions where it is very hard to find like very hard to even guess this range very hard to find this these values from where my x is going to vary like from where to where it will go so in this kind of question always try to always try to focus on this part y is 3 minus x so y is my random variable which is also the range of y is what 1 to 6 right so it cannot be 0 y cannot take value 0 right so when no sir. I'm, yeah i am starting an x here x so this is the minimum like minimum most value we should start from the minimum most value and minimum most most value of x is 1 right so we are starting from 1 and we can go till 6 right we can even we can go from 1 to 6 but why we are not going till 6 because when we go when we like even if we put 3 here so when here x equal to 3 it become 0 right Yes, zero is not Get possible. Not possible. Not possible. Yeah, because yes, zero sir. is not in the range. Yeah. Of y. So we have okay. to stop. Yeah. So we have to stop. So we can't go beyond two here, right? So that yes, is why sir. we are not going. So one to two, and just just simple. Okay. So they have also not. They have only. So this is the answer. They have not right. given any value of this uh, joint table. So we not. We don't need to solve further. So that is okay. And what about this one, the second part? No, sir. Why? Uh, you can give any reason because there are a lot of reasons. Obvious reason. Obviously, it is very obvious why it is not true. But can you explain why? Anyone? It, it, it goes to negative also. also. Uh, x is ranging. Uh, x will. X is element in d x and y is in d y. So x can take six also, and y can take six also. So x and y are taking value six, yeah. So that is uh, x and negative. y can take value six, and then this will become negative, right? Ma negative, yes. So it cannot. Okay, that is also cannot be uh, like that is true, but uh, yeah, yeah, that is a good uh, good explanation. I think we can. So I I think you know why this is not true. We need to go from x x equal to one to two. And so Z is uniformly distributed over its range. Is it true? I think, sir. Okay. What does it mean by saying that Z is uniformly distributed over its range? Uh, not possible. No. Probability of uh, uh, Z taking zero, hmm. one, all, three will be same. It uh, actually, of, zero. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. X can take value one. Wait, wait, okay, okay. There are a lot of noises. Uh, X can that... take value one and two. No, it's not this. Y can yes, take one and two. It's not uniformly distributed. 
uh, okay just answer so, this question. what does it mean by saying uniformly distribution distributed uh, for every uh, probability would be uh, same for everything but yeah. here if we are taking three uh, it's it's giving two possibilities but for other uh, addition uh, like z equal to four uh, we get some other possibilities number of possibilities so probability is different for it all value for yeah. some values so that is okay so yeah all every so everyone who has said these things all are, are correct and same thing because you can like okay so first of all answer what is the range of z i uh, two, is, to two, to two, to two to twelve two to twelve two to twelve and this there is nothing to do with the range but i'm saying that always write these things they will help okay so this is yeah so for probability that z equal to three you can get this so what will be the probability that z equal to six then you need to sum up from x equal to one to how from where you go like x equal to x comma y equal to six minus x so x equal to one to five right three by thirty six yes sir you'll go from you'll go from x equal to one to five right am i right yeah yes sir. and yes, sir. F equal, yeah z equal to if you say 12 then you are going to and these things by the way what is the value okay so let's calculate this value if i'm saying that x is uh uniform one two six right mm. similarly y is uniform one two six can you calculate this value probability is z equal to three yeah sure. so z is equal to three two by thirty six two by thirty six sir yeah two by thirty six two by thirty six yeah correct it is w minus one by n square sir okay so you know the formula too <laughs> okay okay yeah this is correct two by thirty six and here what will be this probability probability that that equal to six so five by five by thirty six sir yeah five by thirty six now you see the probabilities are not same right mm -hmm. so this is not, not uniformly distributed over its range what about the so this is not correct and this is not correct what about the fourth option it will also be incorrect because range is incorrect here um range Sir, is it is correct it is correct fourth one is correct it, fourth one it is it correct it can't go from 1 to 6 right can anyone answer this um, sorry it can go. Uh, yeah, it's correct. I think. Okay, so he's, I think he's confused with this word. Uh, because this is not, uh, Z, no, is Z, Z is nothing Z but uh, minus X. Yeah. Y is nothing but uh, Z minus X. So it is correct. No, no. Okay, so yeah, that is the confusion. He has uh, he has got confused with this small Z. So the range of Z is one to twelve. The range of Z is not one to six. He thought of this as Y. I think that's why he said that it should go from x equal to 1 to 5 but it, this yes, is not why i think it's not I, possible sir fourth is wrong huh? sir i think uh, like how? before z is equal to 2 or yeah, 3 sir hmm. it will be negative sir so no no z will be uh what you're saying z will be 2 or 3 for z, will be two or two. For z is equal to 2 or 3 it will be negative hmm. sir f of y is negative sir huh, hmm. yeah so you can say that for Okay, anyone saying anything? Mm. So Z is uh, ranges from 1 to 12, right? 2 to 12. 2 to 12. 2 to 12. Sorry, 2 to 12. X is dependent on Z, right? X will always go from 1 to Z minus 1. X will go from 1 to Z minus 1. Yeah, that is, uh, no, X can't, X can't go beyond 6, actually. X can't go Z minus one. If Z minus one, I mean uh, Z can take value twelve. Then Z minus one is eleven. But X can't exactly. take value eleven. Sir, basically, if we take Z equal to two, we can't go from X equal to one to six. So that is a wrong option. Uh, yeah, yeah, that sir. is That's that is true. Confusion. Yeah, for but it's for a, saying a general formula, right? Ah, uh, uh, yeah, I think yeah, it, it should be. I mean, that is 
some kind of confusion in this because yeah for those values where suppose you need to find this value fz of 2 right so you can't go beyond similar just like this here z equal to 3 you can't go beyond 2 right z equal to 6 you can't go beyond 5 right but they have taken this one um for i think general case yeah so for some cases it is incorrect but incorrect but for some cases it is correct right so for any value so for any value of z which is greater than what should be the value of z greater than something uh, for which uh, this option should be correct z should be greater than n plus 1 sir six n plus 1 six um, no, I just want to ask one thing. Greater than six. Isn't Z minus it X is minus Y? Uh, please go one by one. So isn't Z minus X equivalent to Y? And if we if we, if we say that there are two uh, unbiased die, like we, we we are throwing die two times, so the events are independent. Shouldn't no, this that... statement be correct? Uh, yeah, they are independent. X and Y are independent. But Z is not equivalent to Y because Z is X plus Y. No, 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 no. Uh, Z minus X. Yeah, Z minus X uh, equal to equivalent to Y. Yeah, that is true. Z minus uh, Z minus X. That is Y. Yeah. So same thing that we have done here. Okay, I have delete. Uh, I have erased that part. So yeah, here you can see that X equal to small X and Y equal to three minus X. So instead of three, we have taken now Z, right? instead of three because we have okay let's come to this part where we are now here so instead of these three six twelve we have taken that this fz of a small z and now we are just saying that but i think yeah this is true for some cases only but this one fx of a small x into f um wait, what is this fxy yeah same thing fxy of Small z minus x. Sir, this is true for some cases only, right? Sir, I think this is correct option uh, because because z minus x is always y. So if at all it is uh, some value which is not possible, but zero. Yes, right. Yeah. So it will be zero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is true. So okay. So yeah, let's say this is um, f x of fz of 2 and we have to, okay let's say we are summing till 6 right even mm -hmm. though we are calculating fz of 2 we are going to sum from like the range of x we are going to vary from 1 to 6 so for anything mm -hmm. other than when we move to let's say do let's do this and then we'll see so this will be fx of 1 into fy of what will be this 2 minus 1 right plus fx of 2 into fy of what will be what will be here fy of zero zero so what can you say that this is so this value is going to be zero mm -hmm. right because fy fy yes. zero will become zero so this will become true because uh we might not go i mean we can go from x equal to two and then like fx of two fx of three then y equal to minus one but these value will not like these probabilities will start taking value zero yeah and uh, the y range is yes, from sir. one to six so or it is always true yeah, yeah so you can say that it's always true okay uh, i think this is a little bit confusing yeah actually uh it can be written like fx of x into fy of y right the z minus x we can write it as y yes, and sir. the y yes, and sir. x mm -hmm. always range from one to six yeah 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 yeah, yeah. true a small y. You can write a small y here as the value of y. That this is small y is the is the value range in the range of capital Y. Okay. Should we move to the next question? This is important question. There. Yeah. This is minimum and maximum. Should we discuss this? Yes, sir. Okay. So, minimum of x comma y. So first, let. Uh, Everyone is familiar with the function minimum, minimum of x comma y, right? Everyone is familiar, I think. Sir. Okay. So how you find this f 
z1 z1 is minimum f z1 of 1 and there is i mean this is not any kind of hint but it is important if you write this in terms of sim in in simple terms which is probability of this like this thing probability that z1 equal to 1 right we can write like this because this term is confusing i mean i i feel confusing you might not feel so i always write this fz of 1 equal uh, in like from this instead of this term i write i prefer this term probability that z1 equal to 1 so now here we can write this probability that z1 or and what is z1 z1 is minimum of x comma y right so this will become minimum of x comma y which is equal to 1 right so again same approach what we have discussed uh, earlier we need to find this we need to find this probability that z1 equal to 1 but we don't know anything about z1 we know everything about x and y we have given this joint distribution function this joint table so we know everything about x and y so from so so somehow if we can go from z1 to x and y then uh, it's done then we will get our answer right yes sir so, yeah so everything we are going to do here is to try to go from z1 to x and y so what is z1 minimum of x comma y now here we need to just think of little bit so what are the possible possibilities where this uh, this case will hold what are all possibilities that is we need to think so first thing now we are going from minimum x comma y to x and y straight now. z1 to minimum x comma y and now minimum x comma y to x over x and y we can, so is, uh, yeah, we can make table. yeah we can make cases first of all so case one we are okay we are trying to find this minimum of x comma y equal to one so we can make cases because we need to remove we, we need to like remove this minimum part here because the minimum this function this minimum function we have nothing given about this minimum function right like if we have been given this thing minimum of x comma y take these probabilities for the value something that it is fine we can do that but we have given nothing about minimum but we have given about uh, x and y so we need to make cases so first case is what is the so what are the possible cases where minimum of x comma y is going to take value one so first of all very important to know what is the range of x and y what is the range of x and y zero one two zero one two same for y yes zero one two um yeah x x is three also x, uh, zero one two three yeah zero mm -hmm. one two three okay so what so in which cases minimum of x comma y is going to take value one if x equal to one comma y equal to one yes sir right my minimum will take value one right yes sir. this is the one possibility and this and in this question there will be three possibilities so this is case one either this case then minimum of x comma y equal to one now what is case two x takes value zero, zero and y takes value one x takes value 0 and y takes value 1 0 can't be because minimum should be 1 yeah so right. the, here the minimum will become two 0 oh ah, yeah, yeah, yeah ah yes yes sir yes sir so yeah so one we need two. 1 comma 2 yeah so we one have two. Two. yeah yeah so, so we can do one thing we can two do one thing okay. that is correct yeah, that, that is correct two, two comma one one comma two uh we can do one thing which is my x, my x is taking value 1, x equal to 1. Then my y should take value greater than 1. Is it correct? Correct. I'm just writing all the, thing, all, the, yeah, all the possibilities that you guys are saying that x equal to 1 and then y, comma, y equal to 2, 2 and this, right? I'm just writing equal all the also. possibilities in, yeah, in, in just one expression. Okay. And what will be the case too? Just the reverse of this probability that when y is taking value 1, then my x should take it's value greater, greater than, 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 than only no equal to we have taken this here that's why we, i'm not writing here equal to because equal yes, to uh, possibility we have taken separately x equal to one comma y equal to one and if you see these three sorry this is case three these three cases are covering everything if you see yes sir yes sir you'll not find any possibility which is not being covered in these uh, in these cases Okay, so this is very easy because x and y are independent. It is given, right? This this is 
x and y are independent <sighs> so what will be this someone i think got frustrated <laughs> probability that x equal to 1 multiply by probability that y equal to 1 joint becomes marginal when x uh, when uh, uh, random variables are independent right yes sir and what about this probability that x equal to 1 multiply by 2 y greater than 1 y greater than 1 yes sir and what about this same so same. have you guys uh, have you guys like uh, heard about this pdf function not yet yes sir it's that's one only i guess cumulative okay, okay. distribution function yes okay i think so you know this i mean this is uh, how to convert this Like yes, how one minus. minus. Yes, sir. one minus. Okay, okay. we are not going. We are not going that way. Actually, I just wanted to confirm that whether you guys know about this thing also or not. So x greater than one into probability that y equal to one. Okay. Now we can just add. So this is very easy. What is this probability? X equal to one. Why am one by okay. two? Okay, we don't. In this case, we don't even need to like uh, change this. can change this joint into marginal because we have given Already the marginal yeah, yeah yeah so yes sir can directly say that this is 1 by 12 right 1 by 12 1 by 12 yeah. so this is for case 1 and for case 2 what will be this value probability that x equal to 1 probability we can get the same first of all tell this probability that x equal to 1 what is the probability that x equal to 1 So no separate only joint is given. Three by twelve. Okay, so only joint is given, no separate. So can we calculate separate here? Yeah, we can. Yes, range sir. Range is zero to three, so one by four. Yeah. So this is what should be here? Y or X? Here. X. Y. 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 Very important to know this. Y. So one F Y four, of zero one is one by three. Four by two. One by three, I think. Sorry, yeah, four by two, yeah. right? One by three. Yeah, one by three. Everyone is angry. One by three, one by three, and here one by four, right? For mm. X. Okay. Yes. Yes. Let's go yes. to this. Um. Okay. So this is here. Now, F probability that X equal to one is what? One by one four. One by four. And probability that Y greater than one. Only two conditions. One by three. Only two conditions. And even only if you y want y is equal to two only possible, so one by three only. Okay, okay, okay. So this is we can say that probability that x equal to one. So here we need we can write this also probability that y equal to one. We can write probability that y equal to two plus two, all the two, probabilities that plus three. Yeah, every possible value which is in the range of y greater than one. We can write we can sum those probabilities here, but only two is here. After two, there is no value in the range yes, of y, sir. right? So we are not going to sum anything. It is only x equal to one multiplied by y equal to two, right? Sir, how? One by twelve. How is it? P x is equal to one one by four probability. Okay, range. Oh, I, I haven't done this part. Marginal. This part. When you compute this part, so which one? Which is the probability? Probability that x equal to one. So probability that x equal to yes, one. Sir. So we need to add these four values. Marginal, sir. Yeah, so these four values, so okay. the ma so marginal will come out one by four, right? Every every variety is one by four, one by four, one by four. So at any possible value of x, the probability will be one by four. Probability that x equal to zero is one by four. Probability that x equal to one is one by four. Probability x equal to two one by four, right? And also for three. So this is one by four, and then multiply by probability that y equal to two. It is one by three. One by three, yes sir. One by two. And now, what is what about this? So, probability that x greater than one. What should be this case? Probability that x greater than one. Now we are calculating for the third case, for this case, for this case. So, probability that x greater than one means probability that x can take value two, right? Plus probability yes. that x can take value three. Three. And this total. This is this. This part is only for this whole part is cal calculating this probability. Probability that x greater than one, right? Only right. this part, and then multiply by probability y equal to one, 
right why we are multiplying why because joint becomes independent yeah, independent and why are independent then joint becomes a product of marginal so what about this um 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 which is 1 by 2 right right and multiply by 1 by 3 So one by two, one by two is what? One by six. I'm just adding these two. Now this is just simple confusion. One by six plus one by six, and that is one by three. Is it correct? Yes, sir. One by three. Okay. Okay. So I now in the same problem. I think there are a lot of questions for this. There are a lot of sub part of sub parts of this question. Can you? So I have explained about this minimum one. Can you ask? Okay. So can anyone? Uh, tell the steps of solving this one. Max of x comma y equal to one. Same thing so again. Zero and one. Zero and one. Zero comma one. One comma one. Zero comma one. One comma zero. Okay. So case one. First of all, this is very easy to take first. And one comma one two. Consider one, first one. case always one, right? Mm. This is when this is the case. My max will take value one. What is the case two? Zero comma one, one comma zero comma one. To first fix this one, so max x comma y equal to one. First, first fix one uh, random variable with the value one, or anything or any value which is given in the probability. So here one is given. So first fix this one with any uh, with any x or uh, x or y. So now I'm fixing with x. X equal to one. Now my x equal to one. What should the what should be the value of y so that less max of one. x comma y equal to one? zero? Zero. Less than zero. One. Or you can say less than yeah. Less than less than one. Like writing in this way is very convenient because if the range is going in negative direction, then there are a lot of uh, other possibilities other than zero also. Yes. Right. Yes. So yes. y less than one. I mean, this is obvious that there is only one possibility for y less than one, which is zero. So we can write this also like this: x equal to one, comma y equal to zero, right? We are writing like this. Yes, sir. This? Yeah. Okay. So and now, what is the next uh, third case? Again, just the uh, like reverse of the second reverse. case. Now we are fixing y equal to one, right? And moving our x. So how should what should be the value of x? Always less, less than, than one, than. right? Yeah. So here, uh, zero. I think here also it is only one pos. There is only one possibility, right? Is it clear? Should I solve further, or I can just like uh, stop? Yeah, here? this is okay. Sir. Okay. Clear. Yes, Now, sir. Okay. Sir. Huh? Sir, uh, can this problem also solved by contour method by? Yeah, uh, the, I think there is one more method uh, for that, but I haven't like. I have forgot about that. I found this convenient, so I stick with this only. Uh, you can solve. There are multiple ways to solve the uh, same problem, and you can you can you can try that way also. And you whatever uh, way you find easier, you can stick with that. Okay. okay. Contour method means what? Uh, writing table means. Yeah, writing. Like. Yeah, writing table, and you can directly like uh, avoid That's or neglect yeah. lot of steps yeah. or bad. lot of possibilities there in the table. मैंने Uh, let's get back to this. Okay, there is one more part of this question, which is z one less or equal one. How you find this probability? Probability that z one less or equal one, which means okay. Uh, let's write in this way. You guys tell the steps. Okay, f z one of one. Now this is what you need to find. Tell the steps. Hello. Am I the only one solving the question? Probability, uh, probability uh, of uh, yes, Z one is uh, less than equal to one. Yeah. Okay. 
now what is that one these are the steps i mean these are if you think of somewhere you say that okay what are the meaning of these steps why i'm writing one simple thing in one simple term in three times like first this time first in this way then in this way then in this way but it will become very easy to visualize or to think further after writing in these terms now how you got from uh, fz uh, is uh, fz of one equals fz probability of z less than equal okay, to so there are, it is there two, there, i'm asking this question i'm asking about this what is the probability of this i'm asking this question so is that cdf right a capital f yeah yeah so that is cdf this is that's less than equal to one. Okay, yeah, okay that's why it is less or equal one if i have if i have been like mm -hmm. if i mm -hmm. give this okay. one then this becomes z1 equal to 1 Oh, ah. Correct. Yeah, always know, uh, keep, keep uh, like pay close Confusing. attention to these terms also. Yeah. I got a lot of questions incorrect in my first quiz. Just to like by doing these kind of mistakes. Okay, so this is a probability that minimum of x comma y less or equal one. And now again, we have got to the step where we are, what those steps that we are do, uh, doing pre in previous questions, right? Making case one, case two, case three, right? Yes. Um, or even we can do like without making those cases also. So suppose if we want to, if we want to do in that way also. Am I writing z one? Z one is what? That one is minimum or not? Uh, nay, um, it's minimum, sir, I guess. Okay, okay, okay. Now, how you, yeah. first of all, identify it is CDF. Uh, can you go back to the question, the printed question? Can we read the question first? No, question is not, yeah, question is not saying anything. This is the question that I have uh, given to you uh, uh, okay. separately, yeah. No, no, another gentleman told that uh, because it is capital F, so it is CDF. Uh, how, yes. how he came to know? Because this, yeah. the, um, because this is the like terminology that sir. you use. Yeah, this notation. Is the notation. Yeah. It's in the last lecture, so capital mm -hmm. is treated as CDF. Yeah, it's yes. yes. denotes okay. the PMF. And capital F for CDF. CDF. And capital F for CDF. Okay. CDF, yeah. CDF means, uh, okay. Cumulative. Cumulative. Yeah, yeah that, uh, that is clear. But this notation, I was not aware. Thanks. Okay, Thanks. okay, okay. Yeah. This will come very uh, like very frequently in the later weeks then it will become clear okay so how to go about this question any idea right the minimum is zero or one zero or one okay um, so we are we, we have started making cases right yes and so there yes, are a lot of cases if you Both if you zeros. If you notice here, if you notice here, there are a lot of cases possible in this uh, in this expression. So let's, for example, probability that x equal to zero, comma y equal to zero. This also includes in this in this yes, minimum yes, of right? yes, And yes, similarly, for probability that one x comma equal one to one zero, one. and now my y can vary. Y can take value one, then two, one. then okay, there are only one and two, right? So this value yes. also y can take. And then we can say that probability that x equal to one, then again, y will take value zero, one, two, and two, right? So there are a lot of cases if you notice, right? I mean, you can add uh, after like, uh, after uh, writing these cases, you can add those prob prob probabilities and you will get the correct answer, but you, you can see there are a lot of cases and it will become very lengthy if you do in this way, right? Yes. So this is correct. This is also correct. This is the like naive approach. You can say if you follow this. So what you can do is, because negative yeah. negative yeah. form of this. yeah yeah make it negative make it this way one minus so okay let me write one minus properly. great so i'm just okay. erasing this so instead of probability that minimum of x comma y less or equal one we can write this like this one, one minus, minus yes, probability sir. max minimum of no, minimum sorry it will not yes yes got it yes sir it is greater than one only greater right? than one now you see how many steps you will just uh, you can skip how like there are a lot of steps that we have been considering in the previous approach you will skip you will skip there so yes, how, what are the steps that possible here when minimum of x comma y is greater than one so x equal to two and y should be equal to two there is one step there, there is this, this is one possibility right yes sir 
and then plus three x equal to three y again y equal to two. That's two. it. I think there is no other possibility, right? Yes. So in previous approach, we have a lot of uh, possibilities that we need to add or consider, you can say. But here now it is only two. I mean, yes, this sir. is yeah. You can add those values and you'll find the answer also. But if you so always, I mean, it is already really hard to remember when to do one minus p and this, right? When when to do, when not to do. In max case, we haven't done. I mean, if you okay, I haven't solved the max question in CDF form. So if you do this, a probability that max of x comma y less or equal one. You don't need to do this one minus thing here. But here you can, if you do, then you will find it a little bit easier. So it is not necessary that you do in this way, but if you find that, okay, whenever you, so this is the only thing that I want to say here. If you do, if you are doing something and you find very lengthy, like uh, it is going to take a lot, if it is taking a lot of time or something, then you can, even though the approach is fine, even though approach is correct, you can consider some other approaches also. You can try some other approaches also. You might find some approaches that are easier to calculate, right? So you will find these things, and th this is one example for that you can use. Otherwise, both approaches are fine. You'll get you'll get the correct answer using both approaches. But you can see just by only two possibilities are here, as compared to the previous approach where we have I think more than uh, ten to twelve possibilities. I'm not sure how many. Okay, I think I'm not I'm not calculating after this. Okay. Sir. Okay, so let's uh, go to this question. I have a quick question on the previous question, what we discussed. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if we can go to the table, sir, mm -hmm. uh, can we just shade the part, what the question means, and add them to get the answer? Uh, I think there is approach, but I'm not aware of that. I mean, I have forget about those. Yes, that. sir. We can do like that. Yeah, we can. We yeah. can. Yes, yes, we can. Yeah. I mean, you guys are studying. I think the, the professor has explained no, no, this. Sir, yes, yes. Yes. Sir. Yeah. I was just saying. Sorry, I didn't. Um, uh, I didn't know that there is such thing existing. But I thought my guess will be wrong. That's why I asked. Okay. Okay. So you, I think you haven't watched the I lecture. Think, uh, that, yeah. that we we can, can do like that. that. Yeah. We professor has explained yeah. this. Yeah. I think so. I don't no, know. They are, they are independent. independent. They are independent. Yeah, yeah. Here they have given. In case yeah. if they have not given, then we I think we have to first see whether it is independent or not. Okay, okay. If I'm not wrong. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I as far as I remember that professor has explained this way also. By yes, sir. Yeah, so you can do that way. That is fine. Okay. Okay, Thanks. so let's move to the next question. This one. Let x, uh, let the random variable x and y represent. So everyone is familiar with Python random variable. What is yes, Python? Yeah. Right? Okay, so Python, x and y are Python. So x is Python 10. And mm -hmm. y is Python 20. And this is saying that the average number of people visiting the shopping malls in city one and city. Okay respectively x and y are independent okay this is the information useful for us right mm -hmm. x and y are independent and z denotes the total number of people visiting shopping malls in city one and two so means z equal to again x plus y right mm -hmm. find the pmf of z so find the pmf of z or you can say fz of is small z how to approach this so Z will be a Poisson distribution of lambda one plus lambda two, <laughs> as the because, professor told. Uh, yeah, so that is, yeah, that is the property. When X and Y are yes, independent, yes, sir, that is the property. Then yeah, so then F Z will become Poisson. Okay, so if I say this is lambda X, is small X, or you can say lambda X, and this is lambda Y, then this yes. will become Poisson lambda X plus lambda Y. Lambda Y. Mm. Yes. Yeah. So. You can derive this also if you want. Then I can do some steps for derivation. Well, there is a long derivation about that. Yes, sir. It is. Okay. You want me to do some steps? Mm. Okay. So it, again, same approach. What we have is 
f z of small z right we need to find this right so if we need to find this and that's why i have taken this question actually i want to just show this approach and i'm showing i'm trying to show this approach in every question how to like first write like first few steps write these steps they are very important fz of z we need to find so we know everything about x and y right we know everything about x and y but we don't know about z so what we do from z we want to go to x and y right this is a very important step somehow yes, if sir. we can go from z to x and y we know everything now then we can solve so this probability that fz equal to z we can write this way capital z equal to small z right and then capital z is what x plus y right yes sir so probability that x, x plus y equal, equal to small z, z. right mm -hmm. now when when it comes to this part we have to separate x and y right yes sir mm -hmm. So in separation, we need to vary either x or y, right? Yes. Probability that let's say vary, we are varying x, mm -hmm. and then that's why we have that's why we need to make some measure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now my x is vary. We'll decide the range later. So now my my x is going to vary. So capital X equal to small x, comma y. What will be the value of y? Z minus x. Z minus x, right? Mm -hmm. You can make this z minus x because when you add this value and z, this value means x plus y mm. x plus y means x plus z minus x right so you should get this z now this is equal to z x plus y equal to z that is x plus y equal to z we just transform we just like convert this form into this so now this is now we decide the range what should be the range? so first of all what is the what is the range of x Can anyone tell about uh, about the range of x? Zero to infinity. Yeah, zero to infinity. Why? Zero to infinity. Why others didn't say? Any confusion about Poisson? No sir. No sir. zero to infinity. Okay, in my case, there are a lot of students who who has who had confusion about Poisson. Mm -hmm. uh, sir, actually. Uh... While solving questions, I get some uh, uh, not so much about Poisson, but other distributions are very difficult to identify in some cases. Like which one we have in week zero, whichever distributions we were we had covered five or seven of them. So which one to apply? Sometimes I get confused. Actually, in this course, uh, which are the which uh, uh, distribution is going to come? Binomial, sure. Uh, geometric, uniform, and uh, Python. Only this much or anything else? Uh, you have haven't to come keep... to the continuous part yet, actually. There are a lot of, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> there are a lot of distributions there too. Don't worry about the distribution. Okay. I mean, you don't have to remember. I think you will get the answer uh, formula sheet in the question, in the exams too. <coughs> where you will have the all the all these distributions and their PMF functions. You will get the formula sheet of this also. In quiz one. Now. Yeah, in quiz, I um I think yeah in quiz one also. But there Even is nothing. the ranges there. they will specify, or uh, we have to. <laughs> so range, I think um I'm not sure the range will be there or not, but the range is not the tricky part. Why we are starting from zero to infinity Python? What is Python? The very okay. Should I like Time. do some uh, a slight example of Python to explain the range part? Yes. So ex yes, range sir. part is like there is a shopping mall, right? So if let's say there is a shopping mall and you want to know what like in one hour interval or any any mm -hmm. any like mm -hmm. any random hour interval two hour interval three hour interval you want to know how many people are visiting the shopping mall right mm -hmm. on an average on an average yeah. if they specify time yeah. then so, comes into so is there any possibility that in two hour or three hour whatever hour whatever the time interval you have taken is there any possibility that zero people visit yes yeah. Yeah. yes sir yeah, so that is why zero in the zero is in the range of x. Is there any possibility that minus one people will, will visit the shopping mall? No, no, no. So that's why minus one it should not cannot be in the range of x. So yeah, so and why infinity? Because you don't know. I mean, infinite people mm -hmm. can visit. Mm -hmm. Yes. Sir. So that is the range zero to infinity. Okay. So okay. Actually, that is the, that is the main difference. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Between. Yeah, and that's why in geometry, in geometry means number of one uh, mm. trials. Success. 
yeah number of trials before first success right first success so if there is no success there is no geometric random variable you can think of uh, you can think like that also right if there is no success there is no geometric random variable geometric random variable exists if there is a success that happens right because mm -hmm. geometric random variable is what number of trials that is being taken before first success so for that's first why... success no for first before success. or for for if i am not wrong no before mm -hmm. first success i mean how many trials okay so again one example is a uh, number of then it will always be two right it cannot start from one it can start from one no? number of uh, number but of we trials... say before first success uh to okay so yeah yeah sort of uh, to, to get all, all, success. To all, all trials success. Total, yeah. total number of trials yeah total number of trials to get first success i should should yes. I, I should write yes. this yeah yeah uh to get first success okay yeah so uh, the example is number of attempts uh i should take or not should number of attempts taken by me to clear the j so that is so that is the example that you can take <laughs> and i think here geometric doesn't exist for me <laughs> okay for clear statistics so, too also huh? <laughs> avinash obsession for j is still exist <laughs> <laughs> okay let's get back to the uh, question here yeah so uh, range of x is 0 to infinity so yeah, this is clear why it is 0 to infinity only one people replied about the range of uh, yeah okay it's clear so sir. yeah so x will go from zero that is clear right yes sir and up to which uh, value it it should go z um z okay why is it yes yeah, yeah why is that y can be zero y can be zero so x will be equal to z yeah because after <laughs> z suppose we take z plus one then my y will take value which is minus one, right? That is not possible. My y yes. should, because y is also Python. So y should also should not take value, which is negative. So that's why we have to stop. Like at, uh, Z. at Z, yeah, we have to stop mm -hmm. at Z. Okay, so this is how you can decide uh, like limit. These are the limits that mm -hmm. this is how you can decide. Always start from the minimum. Then uh, the upper limit, you have to just think little bit about the conditions that you have be, you have put in the, in the expression. Okay, so this is, so this is, uh, let's solve a little bit more. Okay, so x equal to 0 to z, and now, because x and y are independent, right? Yes, sir. So we can say that joint equal to marginal, product of marginal. Probability yes. that x equal to small x into probability that y equal to z minus, z minus x. Okay. So what about this? Now we know everything. So we have like across uh, all everything. We have covered everything from Z. We have reached to X and Y. Now it is very easy, right? You can see now you can clearly see at least you can make the expression, right? You, you, you might don't, if you like, you might not find, you might not find, find this, uh, which is um, FZ of a small Z is Poisson Lambda X plus Lambda Y. You might not get this value, this expression. You might not uh, derive this formula, like this uh, this uh, distribution formula. But if the question comes, you don't need to even know this, right? You can just follow these steps, and you will just put the values there, and then just just like sum up, uh, like making these conditions x equal to zero to z. Just sum all the possibilities. You will get the correct answer even without using this Poisson lambda x plus lambda yes, y, mm. right? So mm. that is very important, even though you don't know about the because this is very hard to remember mm. I, I before this session i have to revise this thing i don't even know that this <laughs> i didn't even know that this exists i have to revise this but i know this thing i mean i even though i have i have forgotten about this also but this is easy to re like remember because when you do practice you know that okay these are the steps what are the steps from z we have if we somehow we can go from z to x and y my work is done right mm. And now here to go from Z to X and Y. So we have followed this step. We have jumped to this and we have jumped to this. Then X plus Y equal to Z. Then this is a very common step. After practicing a lot of questions, you'll see that this is the common step that you have to uh, 
uh, right. Mm -hmm. Then after that, uh, joint becomes mar product of marginal because X and Y are independent. You have then you can write like this, and then after that, this is clear. Mm -hmm. So I'm, uh, should I solve it uh, like further because that then after that it is like so just deriving, just doing some mathematic calculation. Mm -hmm. So, no, no, this is uh, this approach yeah. is good. Mm. Yeah, so till here you can easily answer the question, even though you don't know about this, uh, that uh, you don't know this thing because that that is Python becomes uh, two independent Python random variable. The sum of two independent Python random variable is also Python, which with the parameter value which is equal to the which is equal to lambda x plus lambda y. You don't need to remember this thing. Mm. If you remember, that is fine. Okay, so let's. Let's go to the last question, which is again the extension. I think this is the extension of the previous question. Max x comma y equal to one, where x is a binomial and y is binomial. So again, same thing. What is the approach? I think if you notice, I have followed exactly same approach for mm -hmm. all the questions that I have discussed. Right? Somehow going from what is given to something. Like uh, somehow going from what is being asked to something what is given in the question, right? Mm -hmm. Probability that max of x comma y equal to one. So from here we are going. We need to go if we can go from if we can go somehow x x and y. If we go to x and y, the answer will be there. So how to go? At least make cases again. We need to make, so when, whenever max and minimum function comes, we need to make cases. So what is the first case? Uh, equal to. one to five is the range of uh, x and one to four is the range of uh, y. Okay, yeah, that is good. That is good. Write the range always, even though it it. I mean, even though there is no use of range, but always mm -hmm. like make the habit of this. Make mm -hmm. the habit of writing the range to five, and though it is one to four. Sorry, zero. So no, Why you are not calculating zero? Okay, uh, like. No, this is binomial, right? Uh, yeah, binomial start from zero. at least one trial is required. One uh, no, experiment no, no. is required. in geometric, it's required. Uh, geometric, it's success. And geometry is success. Geometry is one to infinity. Binomial zero also. Zero. Binomial zero means zero. Hmm. Binomial zero means okay. So it, this is I, like. I Should I give zero. one? Zero attempt. Probability is zero. I mean, I zero the, range, the range is zero. only two, two options, right? In okay, a explain, yeah, please. One, uh, explain. ah, yeah, uh, means that is uh, true or false. Means, uh, no, range is, is only two, zero and one, or only two. Huh? This is experiment, it is trials. Five is trial, number one of trials, yeah. yeah, number of range trials cannot be up to five. Yeah, range okay, is so uh, someone is someone is saying uh, that the range will be z the x will take value only zero and one, right? Someone is saying yes, this, right? Yes, yes, yes. yes. I think you are confused with Bernoulli. Binomial, Bernoulli, Bernoulli. binomial is nothing but Bernoulli, right? Means if you do <laughs> Bernoulli, it's a series of Bernoulli. It's a series yeah, of Bernoulli. Series of Bernoulli. Bar multiple Bernoulli is binomial. If I'm not. Okay, let, should I give no, one example is. before explaining this question? Yes. Okay. Okay. Let's uh, let, let let me give you one example about this. So let's say this x one is my Bernoulli. I'm writing burn. Okay, this is like this is Bernoulli. Okay, zero comma one, right? This is Bernoulli, and we have similar x two and x three also. Only I'm I'm taking small example x x one x two x three. Everything here is Bernoulli. Zero comma one. This is also Bernoulli. Zero comma one. Okay, so these are you can assume that these are separate like coin tosses. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have there is one coin. You can say that, or or you can say that there are three coins represented by x represented by x one x two x three. I have tossed with these coins. If head comes, then the value will be zero. If tail comes, the value is one. Okay, is it fine? Yes. Sir. Yeah. If you Now, roll a if I ask, again. yeah, uh, no, not die. It's a, it's a talk, coin toss. Okay. So now, if I ask, what is the probability that Uh, like after tossing coin three times or tossing or tossing these three coins, what is the probability that you will get two heads? Means probability that. So suppose you get. What is the probability that uh, getting two heads? Okay. This is the probability you need to find, right? 
so first of all if i say that head okay so let's say in how many trails two heads let's say two tails i mean this will become easier to for me to uh, to explain let's say getting two tails so before in how many this, trails there are three pointers three pointers mm-hmm. okay 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 yeah x1 x2 x3 the x1 is the outcome of the first coin toss okay the x2 is the outcome of the second coin toss x3 is the outcome of the third coin toss okay three is two three is two and yeah and three then three is two one by two to power three. so we so we need to we need to find what is the probability that we'll get two heads so before that before coming before coming to this question part if we say that y equal to x1 plus x2 plus x3 okay let's let's add these random variables x1 x2 x3 okay mm-hmm. i'm adding these and if my y comes 2 what does this mean if, okay uh, notice x1 can take tails. value 0,1 so similarly for x2 similarly for x3 mm. two so tails y, so one head getting two, two tails, tails one head means mm. getting two tails right means getting two tails yes. right mm. yes so, and by so this two is this y is our binomial so binomial yes, is sir. what binomial is the sum of independent bernoulli random variables mm. okay so x1 x2 x3 are bernoulli random variables and binomial is just the sum of independent bernoulli random variables so now my yes, y sir. here my y is binomial uh here so there are only three coin three. So comma, three comma and, 1 by 2 and yeah let's say fair coin is being tossed so 1 by 1 by 2 okay mm. so now can y take value 0 can y take value 0 yes sir it can take right mm. yes sir so that's yeah. why Here, here in, in our question, in our question, the range of x is from zero to five. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Okay. So let's get back to the question. Now, okay. So we, this is the range of y, and same for range of, uh, same for y, same for x, same for y. Zero to four here. now the case one max of x comma y equal to 1 means when we can say that probability that x equal to 1 comma y equal to 1 this is the again repeated mm-hmm. thing yeah case two probability that when x equal to 1 fixing x right fixing x equal to 1 comma y can be y has less to be less than 1 right less and than then, yeah and then less than 1 again what does it mean less than 1 only one Reverse. case mm-hmm. only one case possible in this scenario right x equal to one comma y equal to zero, right? Yes. Everyone is fine with this. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Yes. And then, and then case three, same similar case three. I mean, with just the uh, uh, like reverse of the case two. Now we are fixing y. Y equal to one, so x should be less than less one. than. Yeah. So there is again one case where x equal to zero comma y equal to one, right? Mm-hmm. So and these yes. probabilities you can calculate, I think. because they are independent yes. they mm. then you can like you can write this in terms of mar- product of marginals p of x1 into p of y1 yeah and then x and y like you have you have fr- you have came from max of x comma y to x and y and then x and y the distribution function is given you can calculate easily mm. so i hope you got it what is p of x equal to 1 p of x equal to 1 P of x equal to one. So x is what? Five c one. Five comma five c one into one by two. Is one and yes, that sir. is you can say directly write five because one by two then one. Right. Right. This will be. Yes, sir. Right. Okay. So should we close answer now? all three? All yeah. three cases will add. Yeah, yeah, will add because. Um. any one of them is going to possible not all together can come right either or case again mm-hmm. whenever we make yes. cases we generally add cases are always uh, like uh, being added under this can you is it possible to summarize the range for different uh, distribution in one table uh, will, can we just try try out uh, for Yeah, yeah. For sure, for sure. Okay, so the yeah. yeah, so the official time is over now. If, if anyone wants to leave, because the content that is being that is uh, there to explain has been explained, and okay, so what are what is your doubt? 
So we are now now we are discussing some general stuff for like uh, ten more minutes. Okay. So, so Bernoulli yeah. binomial geometric Poisson. Uh, for hmm. this, can we write the ranges uh, just to for our? You tell. Okay. So you bit. tell what is the range of Bernoulli? Zero. Zero one. and one. One. Uh, so it is not zero to one. Okay. It is not zero to one. It is zero and yeah, one. Zero comma one. one. Yeah. 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 And what binomial. Okay, so no, Poisson. Don't Poisson. jump to Poisson. No, okay, no, okay, don't okay, jump. Sorry, Poisson. Zero to infinity. Ba binomial is uh, zero to number of trials. Zero to yeah. So we can say n there or n number of n trials. N. Okay. Okay. Or number of trials. Number of trials. Okay. Geometric is one to uh, again uh, till we get the first success. So one to yeah. one. Yeah, one, two, we can say because it might take infinite attempts to get yeah, the first success. To get the first success, okay. Yeah. And then Poisson is zero to infinity. Poisson is, yeah. Zero so, to so, so in summary, except geometry, everything will start with zero, is it correct? At least two for <laughs> yeah. these four? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay. At least for yeah. these, yeah. Okay. But it is important if you remember, later. like, Always keep one scenario with with uh, with all these uh, distribution functions. Then it will become easier to remember the range. Otherwise, they, even though these are discrete random no, variables, actually, uh, just yeah. just for my understanding, range is uh, range is nothing but the success uh, possibility of success. Is it? Um, okay, so you can if you want the possibility of success. you can say the range is a value that a uh, that a distribution that a random variable can take and for for non uh, zero probability okay i mean the probability yeah probability can be zero but these are the generally range i mean so for anything which is outside of this range so if the if you say any value which is not in the range they uh, for for, for binomial or for binomial the probability will be zero whatever the value you will take which is not in the range then the probability will become zero for that particular distribution yeah, see, Bernal is clear. If the first try, first try, if only one one trial, if it is ah. failure, it is zero. If it is success, it is one. Okay, that is clear. Hmm. So binomial also you explained. Eh? Yeah. Geometric, it has to start at least one trial is required, and first yeah. trial itself it can be a success. Okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And Poison is uh, time dependent. Poison is so, yeah yeah number of people visiting okay. the shopping mall. Just simple example. Take this example mm -hmm. always. Keep this example mm -hmm. with you, then it will be clear. Number of uh, people visiting the shopping mall, it might be zero, it might be infinite. Okay, 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 thanks. Okay. So, I'm yeah, sorry, Asikan, sir, uh, are you here? Yeah, yeah, I'm there. Okay, so should we close or anything else if someone wants to? Yeah, Rajesh, uh, okay, someone has raised hand. Is there any doubt? Um, yes, sir. So could we? Um, no, no doubt. Thank you for clarifying this. So could you just add uh, hypergeometric and uh, negative Bernoulli also to this list? Okay, could you just in this okay so add yeah, hypergeometric. I can share the notes. Uh, I I haven't prepared for mm -hmm. hypergeometric and negative binomial uh, distribution. I need to prepare mm -hmm. before telling about anything. So, for that. Uh, well, uh, because um, okay, so will we be getting uh, questions on that in this week? Um, <laughs> I can't say like we are, we will be whether we'll be getting the question or not, but they are very rare questions. Okay, I mean, I'm very rare. Let, let me clarify this. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, like, uh, as of now, whatever you are seeing, Bernoulli binomial geometric poison. So most of the questions will be on this uh, hmm. distributions itself. You might see one or two in your uh, course, but whereas in when we come to quiz one or quiz two or maybe in the end term. So we'll not be asking any uh, questions related to this hypergeometric and negative binomial. Okay. So, Thank you, so on 99, 90%, uh, it will be in this four only, no, sir? 99.99. See, one or two okay. you might That's see it. in maybe in week eight or week nine, uh, we will see okay. hypergeometric somewhere in one problem. And that is also discussed in the lecture. That's it. So you we will okay. not be asking or testing you on hypergeometric and negative binomial. And, and one more thing, sir. This formulas, uh, formulas one will be given one. for one all these four. 
one by one. Yeah, yeah. This formula sheet will be provided to you for every quiz. Okay. Yeah, Nayan. Uh, yes, thank you, sir. I'm happy to focus on this for now. Yeah, yeah. So, okay. Uh, any other questions? Mm -hmm. uh, let me ask you on and whole. How was the session? No, good, 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 good session, sir. Yeah. Very helpful. Very helpful. Yes, sir. It was very helpful. helpful, sir. Okay. Okay, then we will do these kind of sessions every two weeks, okay? Mm, Once better, in better. two weeks, better. okay? So, yeah. Yeah. And please Maybe join this session. Itself, hmm. You can, uh, uh, if the slot is available, 8 o'clock slot, you can book it, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. So, from every two weeks, we are going to have this... Uh, problem solving session see maybe in week one and two you might not have encountered any difficult problems mm -hmm. as such but as you go along the course once week six week five week six we will be dealing with double integrations and whatnot everything when continuous random variable starts maybe you will think to drop this course so it might you might feel okay i'm not saying you will no, good point you touched sir this yeah. calculus part can yeah. you just uh, any like a refresher I means maths one ka, any videos can you put it in the, in the ha, ha, ha. Uh, so that uh, actually to be very frank i have forgot means it's difficult to uh, yeah, see we will not be using more of mathematical more of integration but we will no, we actually will at least final answer to get the final answer we have to do at least one or two steps no that's yeah, the... yeah. so so, hmm. so that is why uh, even in our lectures itself we will discuss it again okay so you don't need to worry hmm. about these things we will show you how to do this double integrations and everything but this problem solving thing will definitely be more and more helpful in week five six seven eight and even in hypothesis hmm. testing the last weeks Mm. So what I maybe you can push it to Saturday, sir. Saturday. Saturday. Okay, because we will Saturday... think about this. We will, okay. we will okay. discuss among our team and we will think about okay. this. So we will also okay. we will also okay. have to look about uh, our people, right? Maybe uh -huh. Avinash and Harsh should be available every Saturday, Sunday. Uh, ah, yeah, yeah, we will be available. Uh, okay, we will check on this and schedule oh, okay. and everything. So then we will we can take a call. Okay. okay. If not Saturday, at least eight o'clock evening. Sure, sure, sure. So this Monday eight o'clock will be fixed. If possible, we will try to have it on Saturday. Okay. okay. So overall, uh, please do attend these sessions, these kind of sessions. Okay. Problem solving sessions. So when is mock one? So mock one will be released on Friday night. Okay, sir. Okay. And uh, sir, yesterday you told you will be uploading this notes. Huh? Uh, ah, see, ah, that, that, that thing. Um, uh, that there are many changes uh, we have done in our portal. Not many changes. Mm -hmm. We have added many things into the portal today morning only. So ca you can just okay. check it. So we and, have and added. This also, please up upload. Uh, these jam birds, is it? So yeah, 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 yeah. We will upload it. So if you open the portal. You will be seeing extra activity video we have added. So what you have to do in the extra activity. So we have ad added the video which was taken by instructor Mayur. So please watch that video to get more insights on extra activity thing. And one more thing is we have added short notes kind of uh, maybe you can treat it as short material for each week up to week three. Good. Where it oh, okay, okay. Uh, so I'll just share my screen and I will just can you, uh, Harsh? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm stopping. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Is my screen visible? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. Okay. Okay. So we have added 
few things here you can see uh, in the weekly extra activity can okay, a little bit zoom sir okay anyway uh, got it okay is this okay mm -hmm. okay so we have added a session on addressing peer review queries okay so you, please do watch this um, session which is of one hour i guess so just go through the session and you will get an idea how you should review and how your peers if if you feel your peers have given you a wrong scores what you should do and everything and later on there is a maintenance academic form where when while you review so let me zoom out a bit while you review if you encounter any uh, uh, mal practicing or maybe uh, you mm -hmm. see both of them giving the same pages kind so you can fill this form see this maintaining academic integrity form you just fill this form and post your query in that what you have faced so you can do this here and there in supplementary contents we have added many things all with the instructor slides we have added for week 1 tomorrow mm -hmm. once after the session of week 2 we will add week 2 solve with the slides also and then we have added short notes and this is a short notes i am talking about so if you click on this it will take you to some drive and where you can get week 1 and 2 within some 3 4 pages you will get a short mm. notes of week 1 and 2 complete so what all things Somebody. are there in week 1 and 2 and there is week 3 notes so in week 3 what all the formulas and what all the concepts are there you can watch it there okay it's like sh short notes for each week and then we have added practice assignment solutions also so till week 3 it is available and then we have added graded assignment solution week 1 is available in that and there is instruction slide for extra activity so if you don't wish to watch the session just go with this slides we have given you some slides where everything is there every instruction is there in this particular extra activity pdf so just go through this pdf what to do what not to do how to do the extra activity and how to review the extra activity everything is given in detail in this slides and then we have added live sessions so these are previous terms live sessions and down to the live sessions we have added live live session notes of this term jan 2023 term so in this right now we have added week 2 which i had taken yesterday so that sessions notes okay. is available so we we are trying to get the previous weeks uh, pdf also so if i got it i will just upload it on upload it here okay so these many things are got added so let other people also know so you just inform your friends that these many things have been added to the portal just check check it okay okay yeah any doubts okay, so i i have got some eight uh, roll numbers those who are unable to... okay i shared the jamboard links in the chat for week 1 and week 2 you can access with your student mail id Okay, so those no, who are can here, you, uh, yeah, those yeah, who are here, also upload. Yeah, yeah, we will upload. Okay, we will okay, upload okay, it thanks. in the portal. Okay. So uh, quickly, uh, uh, yeah, uh, quickly, you mentioned about this uh, uh, sheet where you give the formulas uh, in the exam. Is there mm. a copy of that in the course content or somewhere? Okay, so we we had the copy with us. So maybe while mock one is released, hmm. we will okay. release uh, it okay. along with it. Okay. 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 Because getting used to it will be helpful. Yeah. 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 Sure. Got it. So we will release the formula sheet for quiz one hmm. along with mock one. Okay. 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 Thank you. So hmm. yeah. Any other doubts? Mock one is. Uh, the topics it will cover is from week one and two. Okay. Okay. And there is mock for quiz, which will cover from week one to four. This Friday is for one and two, correct? Right now. Yeah, this one Friday is for one and two. So this is called as bi-weekly mock. So you are going to have mock for 
mock every two weeks once in every two weeks okay no no uh, we will give you some two days time okay. you can see the deadlines friday night it will be released and till sunday night it will be open okay okay yeah dinesh sharvin uh, to qualify for final uh, writing exam uh, quizzes how many uh, marks we should get in quizzes see that Are and it? all you can see it in the grading pattern right okay uh, just go through the grading pattern so you will get more insights once you read that it it will not take uh, more than 5 to 10 minutes to read okay okay thank it's you. in the portal only okay, okay. Thank just go through thank you yeah so yeah where to see the deadlines uh, so on top of the assignment you can see the deadline of that particular assignment yeah even oh, mock also thing. like an assignment even mock will be released as an assignment so on top of the mock you can see the deadline yeah so can we formally so close thing, yeah? yeah yeah see tuesday session is at 6 o'clock but uh, mm. uh, okay uh, any important things can we discuss on a sunday session because tuesday session uh, most likely many people cannot attend because it is at 6 even though mm-hmm. it, there is mm-hmm. so what do you, any, what do you mean by important things like means any uh, concept wise what we are discussing on sunday is fine so tuesday session what is the plan sir what uh, what exactly it will so be tuesday, like tuesday mm-hmm. tuesday we will be solving the replica questions, questions. of grade ed. so if you don't wish oh. to uh, if you don't opt mm-hmm. for that solve with us we can come like with solve with us session. yeah it is like a solve with us okay but uh, let's see let week 1 and 2 let's go with we as per schedule and later okay. on we will see whether uh, this solve with us is really needed or shall we give the slides to you prior when we release the contents itself so we can discuss this uh, as the course progress okay Yeah. maybe maybe you can consider this uh, two weeks once what uh, you are having now no this this today session you can mm-hmm. make it on saturday yeah we will we will think about this and as per the availability of uh, schedule we will shift it i think uh, on saturday there is python and max 2 right yes sir I'm yes sir i'm not wrong Yes, sir. There so, is Python, and... and you know this when when you do graph graph theory thing. Have you rem- do you remember anything? Yes, yes. Yes, independent, sir. Independent thing. So, so can I add something? Hmm hmm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So I have the notes that I prepared in the my time, the my time of the stats. So, so I can share uh, the notes for week one to four, four to eight, and eight to twelve. So. that will help that will be helpful in the last mentor session mentor sure, sure. then that's a uh, great help from harsh to you guys because no, those no. those those notes are Thank lecture you. wise i make the lecture wise notes and writing is not good but it can be understood <laughs> where will you send this harsh uh, so sir uh, here we can so uh, forum forum you can uh, you can you can, you can add it in the discord forum or harsh okay. we will think about this we will just take a look at that and we can upload it on the portal itself no sir yeah, that will those be really are not good. those are not represented on the <laughs> okay so we have uh, i i think yeah yeah harsh i have those notes that is represented to the week so we can share we can we can make those notes and share that is not problem everyone will be like we we will have notes and mm. there are website also from where you can get notes but there are some notes there are some good notes there and we will collect and will uh, give to the give to sri kansar and he can upload uh or else you can do one thing so you can all are you are familiar about this discourse right you yeah. can share your notes in the discourse okay, okay you can create one tag and 
all of you collectively can share your notes and that will be very much helpful yeah the good part is harsh note is from week 1 to 4 and my note starts from week 5 so you will get both like all weeks note okay so that is that is that will be really helpful from them and okay, if okay. you also share uh, your sir i have a better too. idea mm -hmm. i can make a whatsapp group now and share the link in the chat now the whatsapp group is the only admin we can message we can share the notes there uh, no 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 so, see the, no, you are okay, seeing okay. only for this 27 or whatever the number you have seen or maybe okay, 80 okay, who okay. have attended the session okay, but we okay, have okay. some 3000 stats to guys okay okay so it should reach to everyone so that is why i recommend Oh, any one of you just uh, maybe oh, harsh no, no, no. you just for, harsh you started the uh, new thread in the discourse okay and share your notes of week 1 to 4 and let something us like, see and, something yeah. like notes from the tees okay yeah 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 you can do that okay or, okay, okay. Uh, if you do that you... yeah yeah, yeah sorry, sorry you finish Okay, let me finish this. Ah, uh, sir, so, I have a doubt. Actually, for the score, ah, uh, it's written like point one GA plus max of point six F plus point two mm -hmm. max of quiz one quiz two. So, ah, uh, there are two possibilities, right? Mm -hmm. Max of point six F plus point two max quiz of one or two, mm -hmm. or ah, point four F plus point two quiz one plus point three quiz two. Mm -hmm. So, adding up, ah, uh, up this, ah. Uh, For one thing, we get a point eight, and for the other, we get point nine. Mm -hmm. uh, why is it so? So, what uh, what might be the reason? Uh, because you have to attend both the quiz uh, for uh, that. The second one is like if you have attempted both the quizzes. Hmm. So we will consider the second thing. Uh, so if you have attempted only one quiz, then we will go for this max of quiz one. Quiz uh, So we will uh, we will get lesser mark, right? Not lesser marks. It's like Means, we will uh, not be giving you hundred percent of marks if yeah. you are absent for one of the quizzes. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, that's what. Uh, so here it would be point eight, and here it would be point nine, right? Point nine. And also, even though you have given two quizzes, let's mm. suppose say you have given two quizzes, mm. and quiz two you have done very bad. Okay, let's mm -mm -mm. suppose say you have done very bad. And mm. this point two quiz one plus point three quiz two, mm. if it is being less than point two times max of quiz one and quiz two, mm -mm. then we will consider the first one only. Ah, oh, okay. Okay. So whichever is the max, you understand the max concept, right? Ah, oh, yeah. So yeah, you have done this examples all. So, yeah, today. Ah. Yes. So do that max things. You just. So that is why. Even though you attempt quiz one and quiz two, whichever is the maximum marks, we are going to give you that. Mm. But you have, if you have missed one quiz, then mm. we are only give, count for ninety percent, and that mm. is why this extra activity will you can play. Uh, if you have done extra activity, you can miss one quiz. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Extra activity means uh, all the assignments. Yeah, it's like seven assignments, six size, six oh, okay. assignments. Oh. So if you have done maybe four or five, you hmm. might get some eight or nine marks, eight marks. Okay. So okay. how to get full? Submit all the assignments with proper <laughs> uh, links and everything. Something. So there is something called instructor, something like that. that ah, that that that, that that is like uh, we will be looking at what you have done, and we will provide you how consistent you are, and Are you being consistent? If you are consistent throughout, if you are submitting all six assignments, we will give you out of fault. So if you have dropped between four or five, we might decrease one or two marks. Yeah, one thing to add for extra activities is don't uh, care about the marks in extra activity. You can add those extra activity like in the Google side that you will going to make in this in these extra activities. You can add that to your resume. it will be very great exercise to have in your resume you will you will going to in later extra activities you will be fitting the random variables fitting the distribution you will be doing a lot of good things and that you can add in your cv which will be very very good 